Hey guys, thank you for joining me today here in Planet Zoo. I'm excited to bring you this video today to introduce you to both my new Italian zoo project and my new YouTube channel, so welcome aboard. As you can see here, I'm building this zoo on an island in a lake. Uh, this is roughly based on some of the islands in northern Italy, in the foothills of the Alps. That was the theming I was going for here. Uh, when I laid this out it was a little bit bigger than I was originally hoping for, so more room for some animals here. Uh, the spawn points here are in a village setting. I've still got some work to do here with some buildings, but you can get the general feel here for what I'm going for. Um, in the future I'm going to expand this a bit more, put some more shops in. But you can see here I've got a, a just a memento and a restaurant with some terrace seating. There's going to be some pizza shops, um, some smoothie bars, that kind of thing dotted around. Uh, but at the moment we've just got the restaurant here with the view out over a flamingo habitat which we'll go and have a look at in a minute. I thought having this video just showing you the layout that I've got so far would give you an idea of where we're going. And coming over the bridge here, this space here, I'm hoping to put some kind of entrance here with the idea being that the guests have spawned over on, on the mainland or in the village. They walk across to the zoo part which is going to be in the grounds of a big villa, which we'll also see in a minute. Here we have a gondola ride, which will take guests around the outside of the island, so you can get a view out the habitats from the boats. And we come in now to our first habitat, which is the flamingos. I know a lot of zoos have flamingos near the entrance. Uh, the, the noise attracts people. Um, one of the things I had in mind here as well is that the people from the restaurant just opposite can see the flamingos and also the boats going past. I created this small lagoon for them and there's also this terrace where the guests can walk along and get their view. I'm pretty pleased with how that one's come out. Um, the staff facilities are in the side of the hill just below where you can see the greenhouse here which is our habitat for the lemurs. At the moment it's just the black and white ruffed lemurs in here. I might add some of the others. I'll, I'll see how I feel as we develop this. Uh, but as you can see here they've got their inside area and also this outside area with the staff facilities built into this building we can see here. So it's all nicely decorated at the moment. I'm, I'm really pleased with how this habitat's come out. At the back, this building we can see, this is their little sleeping area. It's completely separated off, the guests can't see this, and this seems to be doing a really good job at keeping the lemurs stress levels down. I know they can get very stressed in the walkthrough habitats, but I don't get the pop-ups here. This is the start of a restaurant building. I'm going to have some seats up here on this terrace looking over the lemurs, but we've still got some work to do here. And we're now going to come up to the final habitat that's in place at the moment, the peafowl, who are living in the garden here of this villa. The idea of the zoo here is that the villa had the grounds on, around the island, and over the years it's been built up as a zoo. So we've got the, the smaller enclosures, and it's expanded over the years and become a a larger better zoo for the animals but we've still got a lot of the old buildings like we can see in front here which is now being used for the peafowls bedding. Uh, again I, I'm quite pleased with how this has come out but I think there's a bit too much grass and a bit too much foliage here the the peafowl are getting a little bit lost but I do like how it looks with the conservation pack detailing and the flowers this section here, this is where the staff come in. Because this is a walkthrough habitat, the gate has to be on the outside, so I've had to create this looped path so the staff can get in. I'm going to do this out like a little cottage garden for the villa, maybe some vegetable plots. And finally, we'll go into the villa. Uh, I wanted to decorate this a little bit. I'm not very good with insides, so I'm not too happy with the empty space here. But I've created a... A little view through here with a, a dome and a chandelier and we've got lots of uh, little food stalls and things in here. Not many guests at the moment because 
they're not coming too far up here but hopefully hopefully we'll get more up here I'll let you enjoy the rest of the video now I've put together some cinematics of the habitats and I'd love to hear from you if you have any suggestions or comments and of course let me know if there's any animals you'd like to see as I build this zoo out I'd like to try and get more videos up as I'm doing it, it I think it would be a good way to encourage myself to build more and actually finish a zoo I know a lot of us uh, Planet Zoo players have difficulty building to completion so I hope you've enjoyed and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe it will really help me out and I want to thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again next time as I expand the zoo bye for now